contact, do this to the narcissist, so they are completely sorry and you really win. A narcissist may find regretting the implementation of a no-contact plan more challenging than anything else. What could impact them even more, possibly pushing them to the brink of losing control? I trust everyone is enjoying a great day as we embark on an intriguing exploration into the enigmatic realm of the narcissistic mind. Navigating the aftermath of a breakup entails traversing a convoluted maze of emotions and responses. It commences with a fervent desire to believe in love, only to culminate in disillusionment, revealing the true deceitfulness of the individual. If you've experienced a myriad of emotions following a separation from a narcissist, rest assured that you're not alone. As we collectively grapple with understanding and addressing the challenges and intricacies of narcissistic relationships, let's extend gentle attention and empathy to this shared experience. You can express your support by giving this narrative a thumbs up an understated yet powerful way for us to connect and engage in discussions about the issues we encounter when navigating narcissistic dynamics. Before delving deeper into the dynamics of breaking up with a narcissist, let's take a moment to fortify our community. Show your support by giving this article a thumbs up. Additionally, consider subscribing to receive more compelling articles and don't forget to enable alerts for timely updates. Your thoughts and experiences are highly valued in this space, so please share them in the comments section below. We're delving into the aftermath of a breakup with a narcissist, exploring the mental turmoil and intricate landscape they leave behind. We'll examine the challenges they pose and the enduring effects that linger even after their departure. Are you ready to embark on this journey? If so, let's commence. Narcissists often terminate relationships abruptly, leaving their partners without closure, a characteristic behavior associated with them. Moreover, they wield the ability to re-enter the picture at their whim, driven by their fluctuating emotions and desires. However, there are instances where you might need to take the initiative and end the relationship with the narcissist. This requires courage and a commitment to self-preservation, given the complexity and difficulty inherent in relationships with narcissists. To comprehend the dynamics of a breakup with a narcissist, it's crucial to grasp their initial perception of their partners. Frequently, they view their partners as heroes or saviors capable of resolving all their issues and providing emotional solace. Yet, the question arises, can one person truly address their intricate problems and challenges comprehensively? It becomes evident that as their partner, you are neither a miracle worker nor a superhero capable of such feats. What narcissists genuinely require extends beyond a relationship. They need extensive therapy and, metaphorically speaking, a few metaphorical exorcisms. Exploring the concept of breaking up with a narcissist unveils the key elements that truly unsettle them post-breakup. Their greatest challenge lies in confronting your indifference, realizing that their actions no longer elicit a reaction from you. It becomes apparent that narcissists often exhibit behaviors resembling those of grown-up children. The act of breaking up for them resembles dismantling their very identity and existence. Coping with your composed and unaffected demeanor, denying them the coveted attention, and relinquishing the control they crave over your life becomes an arduous task. Comprehending these dynamics not only proves beneficial after parting ways with a narcissist, but also empowers you. It becomes a catalyst for reclaiming control over your life and charting a path towards healing. Grasping the intricacies of the post-breakup phase is a pivotal step in navigating the complex and challenging terrain associated with dealing with narcissists. When severing ties with a narcissist, you must navigate the delicate dance of emotions and behaviors that ensue, orchestrated by the narcissist 
who adeptly shifts focus onto others. By gaining insight into these factors, you can muster the courage and strength needed to regain control and move forward. Regarding closure, it's crucial to bear in mind a fundamental fact. Narcissists seldom offer closure voluntarily. Their aversion to concluding things stems from a fear of losing control, contradicting the very essence of closure. This reluctance, fueled by their apprehension about relinquishing control, further complicates matters after a breakup, leaving you with a sense of unresolved issues and a lack of closure. In the aftermath of a breakup with a narcissist, employing strategies such as stonewalling, embracing total non-engagement, and adhering to a rigorous no-contact approach can prove highly effective. A transformative shift occurs when you attain emotional equilibrium, rendering the narcissist's actions incapable of disrupting your inner peace. Narcissists rely on emotional investment from others for their own growth, and by withdrawing mentally, you disrupt their accustomed tactics, leaving them feeling disoriented and bewildered. This paves the way for genuine freedom and healing, reclaiming your mental autonomy and propelling you towards self-discovery and personal growth. Even after successfully severing direct ties, narcissists often persist in seeking evidence of your suffering. They derive a peculiar satisfaction from witnessing your distress, especially when it is shared on social media, reveling in your public display of vulnerability. This underscores the importance of considering a social media hiatus following a breakup with a narcissist. In their desperate bid to retain control over your life, narcissists may resort to unconventional tactics, such as creating fake profiles or sending friend requests from seemingly unreal accounts. However, what truly perplexes them is your complete indifference. When you demonstrate an utter lack of concern for their choices, presence, or even trivial details like their breakfast preferences, you strike at the core of their vulnerability, their inflated ego, inflicting a type of emotional pain that proves exceedingly challenging for them to endure. Whether you initiated the breakup or not, implementing measures such as blocking them on social media and severing all contact serves as an effective way to disrupt their mental equilibrium. Upon encountering them online thereafter, projecting an image of happiness and success can be impactful. Understanding how to navigate relationships with narcissists and recover from a breakup involves recognizing the profound emotional wounds they carry. To heal, it's crucial to discern their attempts at control, shield yourself from such efforts, and establish clear boundaries to regain autonomy and emotional well-being. A temporary digital hiatus may prove beneficial, providing an opportunity to concentrate on the healing process without the constant worry of their presence. Recognizing these dynamics and employing effective strategies empowers you to reclaim control of your life and progress toward improved mental health. Negotiating relationships with narcissists, particularly in family or co-parenting situations, requires skill and finesse. Embracing the concept of grey rocking can be a valuable approach for personal well-being. When confronted with a narcissist's disruptive behaviour, this method involves responding with an indifferent attitude, essentially conveying a meh response to downplay the significance of their actions. While seemingly straightforward, this technique can be remarkably effective, especially with narcissists who relied on you as their primary source of attention and approval. By undermining their efforts to elicit a reaction, grey rocking strikes at the heart of their deceptive game, disrupting their plans and further diminishing their already fragile self-esteem. By adeptly managing your emotions and remaining indifferent to their antics, you diminish your significance in their lives, a mere blip on their radar. You cease to be a focal point of importance to them, and this intentional emotional detachment poses a challenge to their typical manipulative tactics. 
When a narcissist redirects their attention to a new individual or interest, an intriguing shift often occurs. The calculated emotional distance that once confounded them might suddenly make you intriguing again. They may attempt to reconnect because they miss the easily provoked emotional reactions they could elicit from you. Frequently, this pattern of alternating interest and rejection repeats itself more than one might anticipate. This underscores the difficulty and unpredictability of being in a relationship with a narcissist. Grasping these dynamics enables you to devise effective strategies to navigate such situations, maintaining emotional composure and safeguarding your well-being, even in the face of their attempts at control. Comprehending the intricacies of relationships with narcissists is a crucial aspect of personal growth and resilience. Lessons emphasizing selflessness, humility and responsibility, whether derived from religious or secular teachings, provide a robust foundation for addressing these challenging scenarios. Such teachings contribute to a deeper understanding and more adept problem-solving skills. Seeking guidance and counsel from trustworthy individuals is crucial for personal development and establishing healthy boundaries when confronted with narcissistic behavior. A significant message is conveyed when you display indifference toward a narcissist's manipulative conduct. This message resonates deeply with them, signaling that the narcissist no longer wields control over your attention and influence, a prospect they find particularly distressing. Narcissists often view relationships as a means to assert dominance, and the idea of relinquishing that power induces considerable anxiety in them. Your composed and disinterested response to their schemes disrupts their cherished sense of control. While this reaction might momentarily pique their interest, it primarily deals a blow to their ego, prompting them to retreat. This retreat is indicative of a profound narcissistic injury that proves challenging for them to mend. At the core of their being lies an emotional wound that engenders feelings of weakness and undermines their self-worth. Sharing these insights is vital for individuals undergoing similar experiences, especially after parting ways with a narcissist and establishing a firm no-contact boundary. Being cognizant of these dynamics empowers you to reclaim your independence, safeguard your mental well-being, and advance on your journey of personal growth and resilience. Acquiring this resource equips you with the knowledge and tools necessary to navigate selfish behavior and maintain control over your life. Upholding your composure and emotional equilibrium emerges as the most potent tool for liberating yourself from a narcissist's influence. When faced with these challenges, it's crucial to recognize the importance of resilience and understand that healing is not only achievable, but also imperative for your overall well-being. The foremost consideration in the healing journey is prioritizing your health. This entails giving precedence to both your mental and physical well-being ensuring you take the necessary steps to recover and flourish from the experience. Despite its difficulties, the journey is undeniably rewarding as you rediscover your inner strength and resilience. If you haven't done so already, please express your support by liking and following for more valuable insights. Your support is deeply appreciated as it enables me to create content that aids individuals in similar situations. Always remember that the paramount focus on your path to healing should be your health. Thank you for being an integral part of this community. Your presence and engagement contribute to the collective understanding and support here. Prioritize self-care, remain steadfast, and acknowledge that you are not alone in your ongoing healing journey. Keep in mind that there is light at the end of the tunnel, and every step you take brings you closer to it. In the enigmatic world of narcissists, a facade of humility conceals a seething cauldron of envy and ego. These individuals, masquerading as driven success seekers, are single-mindedly dedicated to their aspirations, 
fueled by the intoxicating elixir of financial gain. Their joy knows no bounds when splurging on acquisitions that enhance their facade, a glittering allure designed to captivate the attention of others. The narcissist's desires extend beyond mere success. They crave admiration and yearn for your approval. As your wealth and triumphs accumulate, envy-driven adversaries emerge, hell-bent on thwarting your every move. Their fervent wish is for your failure, orchestrating elaborate schemes to obstruct your path to success. Equality is anathema to them. They prefer you beneath their lofty perch. For a narcissist, discovering a more prosperous counterpart within their social realm is akin to igniting a powder keg of envy and resentment. Even in apparent abundance, these individuals remain insatiable, ceaselessly yearning for more. Can this insatiable melancholy ever be quelled? Well, let's delve into this intriguing topic. I appreciate your company on this cinematic exploration. If you haven't done so already, consider subscribing and ringing the notification bell to embark on future journeys together. Now let's unravel the intricate threads of discontentment, a perennial affliction that shadows the narcissist's entire existence. Discontentment, an eternal companion, stems from an inability to find solace or joy as their self-centered pursuits overshadow every facet of their lives, leaving a trail of unhappiness in their wake, both in the domestic sphere and the intricate tapestry of their relationships. This discontentment, a recurring theme, casts its shadow across the spectrum, from romantic entanglements to the ethereal realm of spiritual connections. In the twisted realm of narcissists, the pursuit of contentment remains elusive, evading even those with seemingly perfect lives, beautiful progeny, a devoted partner, and an idyllic abode. Yet, the narcissist, with a penchant for deception, weaves a web of lies within the confines of matrimony, neglecting their offspring and wreaking havoc on anyone sharing their dwelling. Their perverse joy stems from concocting problems where none exist, providing a pretext to abandon their families, be it a transient escape or a permanent departure. Ignoring and manipulating others, fabricating rumours, and sowing discord become the narcissist's twisted pastimes. For the narcissist, satisfaction is an alien concept unrelated to the treatment of their companions. Rather than reveling in the success of others, they revel in the chaos of drama and uncertainty. Over time, their interest in relationships wanes, fueled by their indifference, the assumption that others are expendable, and an unrelenting quest for novel methods to satiate their desires. The second facet of their discontent revolves around their disdain for their jobs and career pursuits. As their enthusiasm for relationships and accomplishments dwindles, even the seemingly perfect job becomes a source of discontent, triggering waves of despondency and anger. They scrutinize the company's offerings, envisioning alternative ways it could cater to their insatiable needs. The narcissist, in their perpetual quest for more, remains incapable of experiencing reverence even when adorned with degrees and occupying the pinnacle of professional success. In the kaleidoscopic realm of narcissists, the insatiable thirst for more permeates every facet of their existence. The perpetual feeling of missing out on something, coupled with an incessant desire for greater compensation and benefits, propels narcissists into a constant shuffle of jobs and careers. Their capricious nature often leads them to attempt fraudulent exploits or take advantage of their employers, risking the precarious thread that sustains their employment. Dishonest attempts to extract more work or wages are not beneath them if they believe they can elude scrutiny. Remaining in a position for an extended period is a challenge for narcissists as their tenure hinges on exploiting the company for personal gain. Even if successful in this endeavour, the monotony eventually sets in, 
and their hunger for more intensifies. In the intricate tapestry of their existence, narcissists harbour perpetual discontent with their true selves, prompting the fabrication of identities and personalities. They pilfer fragments of others' lives, identities, clothing and more, constructing a false image that masks their deceitful nature. These individuals, some of the most duplicitous encountered, harbour a profound disinterest in their own beings. Dissatisfied with their current state, they extend this aversion to everything and everyone around them. Beneath the veneer of smiles and frequent chatter lies the truth. Narcissists harbour a deep-seated dislike for others and life itself. Alone, their countenance shifts from the facade of cheerfulness to a canvas painted with shades of sadness, anger and gloom. The root of their misery is their profound self-discontent. In the grand denouement, narcissists remain oblivious to the reality that success, financial stability and positive relationships do not invariably lead to contentment. For those tainted by greed, envy and self-centeredness, true happiness and ease are elusive mirages in the arid landscape of their existence. In an unending loop of dissatisfaction, a narcissist remains perennially unsatisfied, a discontent that permeates every corner of their existence, sparing none, not even themselves. This perpetual dissatisfaction is an affliction unique to narcissists, and it is a burden they alone must bear. To shield ourselves from being unjustly burdened with blame for their issues and shielded from the store of their negative emotions, it becomes imperative to steer clear of their orbit. As we draw the curtain on today's discourse, I hope this cinematic journey imparts valuable insights. I invite you to share your reflections and musings in the comment section below. For those who wish to embark on future explorations with us, subscribing and activating the notification icon ensures you won't miss the unveiling of subsequent cinematic chapters. With gratitude, thank you. You're undoubtedly familiar with the challenges of dealing with narcissists, given their toxic behavior, their self-centeredness, need for control, and entitlement make interactions entirely centered around themselves. While the ideal approach is to go no contact and sever all ties with narcissists, certain situations, such as group activities, work or family gatherings may make complete avoidance challenging. Hence, I'm here to assist you in developing effective strategies for handling situations when no contact is not possible. Our goal is to provide you with a mindset that empowers you to outsmart the narcissist and shield yourself from their negativity. First and foremost, it's crucial to bear in mind that narcissists aim to position themselves as crucial figures in your life, convincing you that their opinions and ways are of paramount importance. However, what if you decide that their perspective doesn't align with yours? Let's focus on key ideas that can help you navigate interactions with them. I'll provide examples to illustrate how these ideas can be applied, allowing you to assertively manage their presence while preserving your peace of mind. Before engaging with them, let's establish a set of assumptions. First, let's assume that narcissists have their own troubles, recognizing that they aren't reliable sources for guidance or validation. Second, let's assume they tend to express negativity. Consequently, when they exhibit negativity, we won't be surprised understanding that narcissists often resort to complaining. Instead of reacting with disbelief, we will remind ourselves that narcissists often engage in incessant complaining. While we may focus on the positive aspects, we will mentally prepare for the possibility of the narcissist criticizing or undermining us. Crucially, their negativity and their desire for superiority do not validate their judgments about us. We will not allow their perspective to sway us or bring us down. Refusing to accept their negative assessments, 
We adopt this mindset to navigate interactions with narcissists more effectively, preserving our self-assurance and resilience against their negativity. Furthermore, it's crucial to acknowledge that narcissists excel in utilizing intermittent reinforcement. Their behavior is consistently inconsistent, occasionally providing positive reinforcement, creating the illusion that everything is going well. Yet, I won't be swayed by these fleeting moments because, just as quickly, positivity can shift to negativity. This constant back and forth lacks discernible patterns or reasons. I reject letting this emotional roller coaster dampen my spirits, understanding that inconsistency is an inherent characteristic of narcissists. This serves as a reminder to stay steadfast and not be influenced by their unpredictable behavior. Moreover, I recognize that narcissists tend to place significance primarily on external factors, prioritizing superficial aspects over matters of character or integrity. If I happen to make a mistake or engage in disapproved behavior, they may try to insinuate that it reflects poorly on my character. However, I'm aware that they do not take the time to truly understand us as individuals. Their inherent lack of empathy is a defining trait. Therefore, I will reinforce within myself that their judgments about me, or anyone else, lack validity because they lack the capacity for accurate assessments, being solely concerned with superficial appearances. Lastly, I will bear in mind that narcissists harbor numerous expectations and often operate with their own agenda. When in the company of a narcissistic individual, I will not allow them to dictate my reactions, emotions or plans, especially in the presence of others. I refuse to be silenced. Instead, I will confidently assert my presence, conveying through my demeanor that their words hold no sway over me and will not instigate fear or unease. I will refrain from engaging in argumentative or confrontational behavior. By maintaining a calm and assertive approach, I will demonstrate that their attempts to undermine me will not succeed. To further illustrate, imagine a social gathering where you unexpectedly encounter an individual with narcissistic traits whom you haven't seen in a while. They promptly begin launching complaints about various aspects, from the food served to the weather or decisions made about ongoing activities. They seemingly possess a keen ability to openly criticize, acknowledging any skills they possess only to subtly validate their inflated ego. However, it is crucial to emphasize that I will not allow such negativity to impact me. My resilience will shield me and I will stand firm amid their critical remarks. I prioritize focusing on the positive aspects of individuals, aligning with my mindset. Now let's imagine a scenario where you're involved in specific group activities. It's natural for a person with narcissistic tendencies, driven by a need for control, to find reasons to complain about the games, schedule, or seating arrangements. What if you choose to go with the flow and accept whatever unfolds? If the narcissist starts complaining, you don't have to join in. Instead, calmly convey your willingness to adhere to the established plan, even if they perceive it as silly. If questioned, respond by saying, I understand your point of view, but I've personally chosen to go along with it. It's crucial to assert your standpoint making it clear that you have a different perspective. While the narcissist may expect argumentation, you can stand your ground without escalating it into a full-blown argument. This approach is known as setting boundaries, wherein I aim to assert my identity and values without engaging in heated debates or seeking agreement from the narcissist. Now let's shift to another common situation. Picture a group setting where as expected, the narcissist joins and starts sharing highly controversial opinions, appearing inflexible and unwilling to accept differing viewpoints. It might be tempting to engage in a debate to prove who is right or wrong, but let's pause and contemplate. 
Have you ever succeeded in changing their mind through argumentation? No, it simply doesn't work. Instead, consider saying, I acknowledge that your opinion is significant to you, but it doesn't align with my beliefs. If they question you, why? Are you crazy for thinking differently? Maintain your composure and reply, I understand that you see it that way, but I stand by my perspective. With this approach, I aim to show that I refuse to be drawn into a futile debate that leads nowhere. In group settings, narcissists often display a complete disregard for your presence, making it clear that acknowledging you is not worth their time. Rather than feeling intimidated by their actions, I ought to release any expectations of forming a connection with them. I shift my focus to individuals with whom I genuinely share a connection. If a narcissist treats me as if I'm invisible, it reflects their issues, not mine. While I understand their craving for control, I don't need to be under their influence. Their dissatisfaction with my independent thoughts is inconsequential, as I find contentment in embracing my unique perspective. I encourage you to cultivate a similar sense of self-assurance. Narcissists derive pleasure from blaming and criticizing others, but I refuse to be moved by their opinions and negativity. When faced with their negative comments or criticism, I see it as a projection of their character rather than a reflection of my worth. Narcissists are preoccupied with themselves, whereas I aim to fill my life with kindness, encouragement, love, and genuine connections. The key to outsmarting a narcissist and shutting them down lies in refusing to participate in their manipulative games. I assertively convey that I see myself as a unique individual. If met with further negativity, my calm response is simply, well, it seems we have different perspectives, don't we? Their negativity does not define me, just as it need not define you. I release any illusions of making them agreeable because realistically, it is unlikely to happen. Instead, I choose to embrace my authentic self and find solace in the identities we each create for ourselves. If a narcissist decides to walk away, claiming they don't wish to deal with me, that's perfectly fine. Truthfully, I have no desire to engage with them either. Ultimately, I hope you can foster a deep sense of self-trust, as that is the core of this journey. Embrace who you are and trust your instincts without resorting to arrogance or argumentation. It's enough to calmly stand firm in your authenticity, which encapsulates the essence of our pursuit. I sincerely hope videos like this offer valuable insights for contemplation. If you haven't already, I encourage you to click the subscribe button for more enriching content from our channel. I genuinely appreciate the privilege of embarking on this journey alongside you. Moreover, if you find it necessary, especially when dealing with individuals like these regularly, seeking therapy can be incredibly beneficial. It can assist in processing your experiences and finding the support that best serves you. When faced with a narcissist attempting to impose their perspective, the most effective way to shut them down is by firmly establishing in your mind that their opinions hold no weight or significance for you. Assert your true identity with clarity and brevity, making it clear that you are secure in who you are.